acute or stick on moxa. So you might have been directed by your acupuncturist or myself to use stick on moxa in your home to upkeep your health while you're not in the clinic. This is a great idea for anybody who would like to relieve their symptoms of pain, discomfort, upkeep their treatments, continue with fertility or maternity care, or treat their children when they're really, really sick. There are a few precautions though before we get started. First, don't burn yourself. Don't burn whoever you're doing it on, and please don't burn your sheets or your carpet. It's very easy to not do this. When the, the moxa gets too hot for you, too hot for your child, just simply have an ashtray nearby, twist it off, and put it in the ashtray. That's all you have to do. So don't ever sit there and be like, oh, it's so hot, but that's what's gonna be working. If it's too hot, just take it off and be careful when you do because if it's a little hot for your fingers, you end up dropping it and that's how you can like burn your sheets. So just make sure that you bring the moxa with you, next, uh, bring your ashtray with you next to the moxa, twist off and then put it in the ashtray. Okay, so let's talk about why stick on moxa or sen in is really great to upkeep your health at home. So when you go into your acupuncturist, you're gonna get a slight bump in your immune system. And your immune system will continue to stay quite high for two to three days. After which it starts to decline back to what your equilibrium usually was. Now in order to avoid this and to change where your equilibrium is in order to raise your immune system consistently, the SEN-NQ is able to continue to keep the immune system high. And how it's doing that is through a heat shock protein. So essentially, whenever you burn moxa on yourself, your body is creating a heat shock protein. And what a heat shock protein is, is that there's white blood cells that are actually made by the body in response to the heat. And so your body goes, oh, there's heat. There might be a burn coming. We better make some new white blood cells and get fresh blood to the area just in case. Thankfully though, with the sending NQ stick on moxa, there's a very low chance that you'll get a burn. And because you have your handy ashtray right next, but not, right nearby, you definitely won't get a burn. And so what happens is that you get fresh blood with it, fresh oxygen with the blood, and a higher immune system and more white blood cells to the area. Wherever your acupuncturist has indicated, usually with a black marker, is where you really need new fresh blood and new immune system activity and also new oxygen in order to facilitate healing. So make sure you do your moxa once a day. I recommend doing it before you go to sleep just because it helps me sleep and I find it does that for my patients too. Okay, so let's get in how to use it. So again, we're going to have our ashtray. Mine is just a little portable guy. You can just use a dish with some water in it. You're going to have a lighter. You're going to have whatever you're going to put it on, whether that's your stomach or your back. Uh, or your, your child's stomach or back or legs. And then you're gonna have your stick on moxa. So one more precaution that I didn't cover is that if you're trying to treat yourself and your acupuncturist has put spots on your back, make sure to have a friend or a spouse do the moxa for you. And the reason why is sometimes when you move to actually grab the moxa off your back, it can fall and then burn your sheets or burn your carpet, or it can fall in your skin and I would hate for you to get a burn. Also, if you have spots on your stomach and your legs, I recommend doing them separately. So do your stomach moxibustion first and then your legs. This way, if one of them's hot and you move, you don't accidentally burn yourself. Okay, so let's get started. You can definitely do more than one spot at once. Like I said, if you have four spots on your stomach, feel free to do them more than once. And how we're gonna do this is all of our moxa looks a lot like this. So there's a little tab on the bottom and there's moxibustion or mugwort packed within this little white piece of paper here. And then it has a little bit of a base. So if you peel off the sticky note off the back of the moxa, you can go ahead and throw that out. And then you can stick that on your finger or really anything that can go sideways. You saw the side of a table, the side of a chair, whatever you wanna use. The reason why I recommend sticking it here, anything that goes sideways first, is because if you stick it directly on your stomach, and then try to light it, there's a chance that you might burn yourself with the lighter. And again, I just don't want you to burn yourself. So we're gonna put our hand sideways. And as you can see, the sticky is quite strong. So we're gonna put our hand sideways. We're gonna light our moxa. Okay. And then after that, you can see it's lit because obviously since it's smoking, there's a little bit of red there as well. And then we're gonna twist this off. It just helps the adhesion to disconnect from your body. 
And let's say that I have a black spot right here on my, on my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right on my hand. And then I'm gonna let this burn for about three minutes. I'm only holding my hand up so you guys can see it. When you're actually burning the moxa on yourself or your child or your spouse, you can let them relax in a comfortable position while you're doing it. So this is gonna burn down to this green plating in about three minutes. While it's burning, it'll continue to smoke. If you're very sensitive to the smell of smoke, feel free to open your window while you're doing this, but be very careful about letting yourself or your ch child get cold during the process. The most important thing about moxa is that it's heating up your body. It's giving you a better immune system. It's gonna raise your core body temperature, and we don't wanna lower it by counter with the counteraction of an open window. So make sure you're, you're nice and covered as you do the moxa if you need to open your window. So again, it's going to burn down to this green plating, and as it does so, it's going to continue to smoke. Once it stops smoking, you know that the heat is going to, then the heat temperature will then rise. And as you do that, as it does that, and you touch the sides, it actually starts to feel hotter. And as you see here, I'm touching the base. I'm obviously not touching the place that's burning. So it's starting to get warm. Usually for a child, they're going to start feeling like it's too hot about midway through the moxicone. At this point, feel free again to take it. I usually give it a little twist and then put it straight into your ashtray. However, if it doesn't feel too hot and it feels nice and warm, then you can just leave it until it burns out completely. As you can see, my moxicone has stopped smoking. This is now when it's going to get it to its hottest point. So we're gonna watch closely, especially if we're doing this on children, to make sure it's not too hot for them. Once it's burned out completely, you'll know because the sides when you touch them will actually be quite cool. After it cools down, feel free to put it in your ashtray and finish the moxa treatment for that day. If for some reason, let's say your stomach or your back is still feeling quite cold, or if you still have a little bit more pain and you wanna to continue to do the moxa, because moxa is great for pain, then you can feel free to do two or three cones at the same place. It won't hurt you as long as you make sure that it's not too hot and that you're not burning yourself or whoever you're doing it on. So that's it for the moxa. If you guys have any questions, comments, if you feel someone might benefit from this video, please feel free to share it. If you would like to set up a treatment for moxa acupuncture or acutherapy for you or your child, please feel free to call us at 720 893-0385. You can also set up your appointment online at bumblebeeacu.com. That's B-U-M-B-L-E-B-E-E-A-C-U.com. All right, thanks so much, and I hope you guys enjoy your MOXA experience.